I was just, uh, I was in, in um, Florida, and uh, you remember that guy, Jackie Mason, he used to talk like this, say good morning, Jackie Mason, yeah, 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 So uh, he said to me, I met him, he said, they're making a movie, you know, would you like to be in the movie? You know, I said, I don't know, what do I do? He says, well, uh, I'm going to knock on the door, you say to me, you know, I used to see you in the, uh, in the Catskills, you know, he starts there like this, you know. I says, well, what do I say? So, I did an impression of him. That's a bad impression, of course, but... Uh, he, he says, well, what do you say is, uh, you, uh, you never tell a Gentile how to drive a car. You know, uh, Gentiles know how to drive a car. There's one thing a Gentile knows how to do. He knows how to drive a car, he knows how to fix a car. But all those Jewish people, they hear the same thing in the car. What you hear is, where are we? What happened? They put an ocean in here. <laughs> so, you won't be seeing that in the movie because I was just too good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you know, it, it doesn't mean we just come here. There's all kinds of things that have to happen. It's sort of like when I leave my house, I, well, I'm down in Florida right now because that's where, you know, I, I like to ride horses, I keep horses, and that's, you know, I've got a 12 year old car and two year old horses, so you can go figure it out. It's an expensive game, but uh, when you start to leave the house, I have to call a cab, of course, and you've got three options. I've got, like, this is true. Am I on fire or something? What's going on? It's like Manchester here. Yeah. <laughs> is it smart, fog, or is it an effect? John, I think you're on fire. It's coming from somewhere around. What's going on here? Well, there's three options. You can, um, you, 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 there's three cab companies. I'm just, I want to just tell you how it takes to get here, right? There's three cab companies. One of them is like a, is like a, a, an Indian guy. He's talking like this. He's very nice to see you this morning, Mr. Brown. It's good to see you. What are you doing here? I said, well, it's five in the morning. I'm going to the airport. It's a lovely day, isn't it? It's going to be wonderful. Everything is fine and good. I'm going, wait a minute. It's five in the morning. You can't even see anything. What wonderful day is it? We're talking about that, you know. So you get out of the car and you're smelling like a, a a curry, you know what I mean? And then there's this other guy, he's like a Jamaican guy, right? What are you doing, man? You know, he's got this like shrunken head hanging from the from the mirror. And there's a sign in Jamaican. I, I'm telling you the truth. There's this sign, and I think it says, if you don't pay, this will be you next week. It's like weird. And then you've got the guy from New York, you know what I mean? You come in, hey, what are you doing, Davey? You used to love the monkey. You're a little monkey. Yeah, you're a monkey, you know? And then you get out of that car and you smell like an ashtray, you know what I mean? It's like, so I've got, and then you get to the airport and, and the first thing you see is terminal. And I go, oh, terminal? I hate that word. You know? And then you've got to check yourself in. I can't even turn on the VD, you know what I'm saying? DVD, DVD, DVD. I don't even know what it is, okay? I can't turn any of it on. You know, it's, and so you've got to check yourself in, then you've got to pay for your bags, and then you've got to go to the security and take all your clothes off. And it's all going off, and everything's like ringing and stuff, and usually they recognize me and start buzzing the buzzer, and it's kind of funny, let's make the monkey go through three times, you know. And I said, oh God, oh jeez, I just remembered it. It must be my nipple rings that, you know. The guy comes and says, excuse me, Mr. Jones, we have to take you in the back room. I said, I don't really have nipple rings, I'm just joking. All right, well, no joking coming through here. So then you get there, all of a sudden you get, you're on your way to the plane, and all of a sudden there's like this, this white guy, right? I say white guy because most people that travel in the olden days used to be dressed up with a coat on, a shirt and a pair of pants, and this guy's got like a pair of short cutoffs on, and he's got like a tank top on, and he's like dragging his bag, talking on the phone, you know? And it's, I'm just my luck, I'm gonna be sitting next to him on the plane, and yes, it happened, you know? It's like, smells like he's been in the outback, this guy, you know? Put a shirt on, man, or something. And he's still talking when the stewardess says, put all those electronic things away. 
And uh, then all of a sudden, I'm sitting on the back seat, it won't go back, and I'm right by the toilet. So, you know, the first thing I do is get a piece of paper out and wrote, and I write on it, out of order, and stick it on the door. <laughs> no, it's a good trick. You know, it's like making soup in the coffee maker in the hotel. You can do it if you want. Everything like that. So anyway, so I'm sitting on the plane, right, and people are going to they're not going to take the thing off the door because they're going to go down halfway down the plane and say to the lady, they're going to say to the lady, that, that, that's out of the water, she's not going to do anything about it, you think she's going to go into that toilet and do anything about it? I don't think so. She's going to wait till one of the other stewardesses does something about it, so. And then you, you take, then they, they get funny on the plane saying, you know, now, here's the oxygen mask and, and you know, it, it, I'm, I'm, I've got, so I've got a lovely blonde lady in between me and this guy, right? And it says, you know, we put your own mask on and then help. So I'm going to be helping that blonde. I'm not helping that little shit over in the corner. You know what I'm saying? She's going to be getting mouth to mouth from me. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the stewardess, I mean, you must have been on the rock plane where they start being funny and say things like, if this plane turns into a cruise ship, the life vest is under the seat, you know. Put your head between your knees. I'm not going to be found like that. I'm not going to be found with my head between my knees. Are you kidding me? And then, oh, no, actually, it was actually, we, we get off the plane right in Chicago here, and who do we see? It's Michael Jordan. And Michael Jordan comes over to me, and he says, Davey, I'm a big fan, you know. I said, oh, yeah, very nice. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Michael. Nice to see you. Then some guy comes up, somebody's told him, that's Davey Jones over there. And he actually went to Michael Jordan and he said, Davey, can I have your autograph, please? <laughs> and so he's signed the autograph and he's walking away and he said, hey, mate, mister, don't you want Kobe Bryant's autograph as well? <laughs> Pointing to me, right? And then we get to the hotel room and I get a phone call, obviously, from my ex-wife. You know, I say my ex-wife, um, and <laughs> she, I always know there's a problem. She says, we have a problem. I say, well, what do you mean we have a problem? She says, well, it's your daughter. I have a 21-year-old daughter. She said, I went into her room, I found pornographic material, I found whips and chains and handcuffs and videos and all kinds of stuff. What are we going to do about it? I said, well, I suppose a spanking is out of the question, you know? <laughs> Will you stop with that? <laughs> but listen, you know, enough of this. I just wanted to let you know what it took to get here. And in a minute, I'm going to have to have everybody take all their clothes off because it's friggin' hot in this place. <laughs> it's so hot, the snakes are hanging straight down out of the trees. <laughs> That's how hot it is. But it's okay, let's all sweat together. Great, but no, listen, we're going to have a great time tonight, whether you like it or not, okay?